stay in film or find a new path. Um, I had created a situation with visual effects, but the problem with visual effects is most movies that have animation with visual effects, those are summer movies. So like they're going into production around September, October, they finish around March or April, so they can be released in May through August, and they don't start production again until August, September, October. So if you work in visual effects, there's a chance that there's no work for months between, say, March and whenever. And I'm like, I have three kids. I can't do that. So I was like, well, games. Games. Like, well, God, that work seems more, like, steady. Mm -hmm. And then there was one other thing that drove this thinking. I used to work with this guy named Ron Zorman. Ron studied traditional animation and he worked in traditional animation for a long time, but he was also kind of like interested in CG, like 3D stuff. And so when I was at Capers, he was doing CG stuff. And after like Toy Story and then Bugs Life and then Toy Story 2 came out, he was like, I gotta work at Pixar. And we're like, dude, yeah, Pixar, it's cool and all, whatever. And he was like, no, I have to work for that. So he created uh, a couple of pieces for them that he submitted. And they saw him and went, yay. And they hired him. And he's been there ever since Monsters, Inc. So when all of a sudden 2D died and the whole industry became 3D, everybody's like, Ron! Hey, Ron! How you doing, man? <laughs> Pixar, right? He was smart enough to get in when he got in, but he didn't get in because he thought it was such a smart idea. He just, he dug CG and he got in when the getting was good. So, I thought about that with visual effects. I was like, well, you know, there's a dry spell. I have kids. I need to be working. Games, they work. And the thing is, is that I also kind of recognize that, like, games, right now, they're kind of like in their infancy. Kind of like Pixar and CG was when Ron Zorman got in. And I could definitely see a point where it becomes a pretty dominant thing, and either I'm going to be Johnny-come-lately coming in when everybody else wants to because that's where the money is, or I could get in now because that's where it's going to be, and then now I'll have been there for a while and blah. So I got in, and ultimately it wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't really that Machiavellian, but it was like the work's more steady. But I did think about the fact that there would be more steady work. And it has kind of worked out that way. Um, but ultimately, you just, you, you know, you kind of go with the flow of where work is. I, I've worked with people who are incredibly talented, but there just doesn't happen to be this kind of work at the time. So they're having a hard time finding jobs, but that doesn't mean they will forever. It just means that right now, this is hot or this is not or whatever. So I'm going to get into, like, what aspect of all that stuff. That's coming later, so I might be jumping the gun here. Can I just ask a question? 